Okay, give it one more minute and we'll get started. Um, I'm gonna have to leave just uh, five, 10 minutes early. It's my son's first day at school and he forgot his medication. So I'm gonna have to run it over to them. They just called about five minutes ago. Um, but I'm gonna go as fast as possible. Okay, so given that, I'm going to get at the top since we only got about 20 minutes today. Um, all right, so let me start with some general questions and then uh, we'll go as fast as possible. Um, All right, so I got a somebody uh, commenting about Reddit. I've had a couple of these that say uh, the guys on Reddit think that the stock is undervalued, and whether that's different Reddits or Wall Street bets, I'm I'm not sure which particular subreddit they're referring to, um, and what is my opinion on that? Well, <clears throat> uh, you can't, you know. I'm still here, so I personally think this company has a lot of value. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. Um, that's my personal opinion. As far as fair market value is concerned, you know, that's the market to determine. Um, I can't be going around giving stock advice on this one. Uh, but like I said, I'm still here, so I personally believe uh, we're doing things right. Um, And then uh, here's another one. This uh, this has come up quite a bit uh, in my email over the last few weeks. Whoops, turn that off. Um, the people are wondering what we can and cannot share as far as uh, material information is here. Uh, basically, material information means that uh, anything that could affect your decisions around you know whether or not to buy stock that's the long and short of it so if i go giving out you know company numbers uh out of band or you know profit you know, anything related to profit margins things like that upcoming contracts stuff that's in the works that's not um that's not inked yet uh anything like that that could affect the value of the company um, i'm not allowed to talk about uh, at least on these channels so what we do have to do by rule is give everybody equal access to that information and this forum is not equal access as everybody can't always attend and things like that um, so the prescribed methodology for doing that is usually through the press releases that's acceptable to the exchange and you know they get to clear everything before we release it anyway uh so that's basically it so just you know again we've had a lot of discussion around this but that for those of you who keep asking that i hope that clarifies that and maybe we can uh you know read the pin posts up there and there should be some more clarity on on that one now, um, next, this is a two-parter. Somebody else asked, um, some other asked, what are what do you think the most important things um, that we're doing right now, you know, indicator-wise? Uh, indicator-wise, the fact that we're hiring on the AI front, I think, is the most important indicator that we've got out there. And we've mentioned that on several occasions. Um, that'll let you know exactly where we think that's going. Um, as that business is expanding. That's what I think is the single most important indicator that we have shared so far. Uh, so uh, another question we've got quite a bit about is what's going on with inst institutional engagement with DM? Um, we've had a, quite a few institutional talks over the past several weeks. Uh, we're going to be heading up some more, not this week, but next week. Um, so this week, uh, there's a few other pieces going on. So we had, we're not having institutional meetings this week. Um, that being said, there's no 
lack of interest there. It's just timing. Um, so that's pretty much it. So we've lined a lot of that up now that our balance sheets are cleared up and we've sent those out and we're lining up the meetings now. This week is going to be more devoted to engineering now um, and getting that. So Now, this is another question that has come up um, quite a bit, is should we move these to biweekly Discord sessions? Um, I personally think that would be a good idea. Um, I don't know how to get a poll on that because there's usually, you know, there's a lot going on here, but on a week-to-week -week basis, we end up covering a lot of the same ground for, I guess, people that don't attend or just, you know, partially attend. Um, because that, I mean, there is a lot going on, but, but talking about it every single week, I think is a bit of overkill. Anyway, we'll mull this over. Um, that way we, I don't want to be wasting everybody's time on here for that particular one. Uh, and we may put a poll out or something. Anyway, you'll see some more about this. Watch for the pin posts. Um, and we'll see. A uh, couple more questions coming in. Um, people wanted to know now that you know we have a, a bankroll and um, you know runway and things like that. Uh, are we planning on doing any? You know, what are we planning on doing with the current outstanding shares and things of this nature? Right now, there's no plans to touch anything. Uh, there are reasons we would touch shares, just to name a few, just to put it out there. Um, like if we were to uplist and there was a requirement there um, that made us do that, then you guys would hear about it uh, or things of this nature. Because we are looking, you know, to different um, different exchanges and things like that uh, for uplisting. That's something that's been on the board's mind for quite some time. And um, we're going to continue to to work with the different exchanges and what we think is in the, the best interest of the company. Um, that being said, uh, there's no immediate changes coming. So, and, you know, the shareholders will hear about that before any changes happen anyway. Um, so that's where that stands. Are we toying with any sizable acquisitions and cost uh, expansion? Again, I can, this is something that's uh, material, so I can't say anything about whether or not what we're doing that's not already out there uh, in the press releases. Um, so watch those, and you'll know um, uh, what we're what we're looking into. Because even when we're just looking into them, we have to PR it. So. <sighs> Can you comment on the importance of DM being a bit the positive for the first time? Um, I find that tremendously important. And I've tried to emphasize that through some interviews and stuff like that. That just means, you know, we're actually heading in the right direction right now. Uh, that was not the case for a very, well, the whole history of the company, right? So we did not... Um, uh, you know, we weren't making any money. It was that simple. Now, I'm not going to comment on why that was the case. Uh, I'm just not because I, I wasn't here. So it'd be hard for me to, uh, hard for me to comment on all those years when I was not around. And most of the people that were around are gone now anyway. Um, do you foresee this being the case for the rest of the year? Most likely, yeah. I don't see why not. You know, things are things are moving, you know, the way we want them to. There's no reason to um, see that that would change. Uh, we also have quite a bit of, you know, other stuff in the works that we're going to hopefully be able to announce within the next few weeks or month or so. So, yeah, it looks good. Have we considered a buyback? That has been toyed with at the board level for a while, at least six months. Uh, 
It is something, but again, this is one of those things that goes along hand in hand with stuff like, you know, uplisting and moving to, you know, a different exchange, et cetera, et cetera. So all that has to be considered in whole. So at the moment, like I said, there's no immediate plans on any of this stuff, the, but it is being thought through for the, you know, the longevity of the company, how long we want to um, do this. Uh, so, you know, when we do have concrete plans on that front, um, you will know. Okay. So one person, a few people, well, I don't know how many this is. Is it is it possible for DM and Screen Pro to coordinate their news releases to make it easier to understand how many contracts both DM and Screen Pro have? Uh, it's possible. I actually talk to the people that run Screen Pro at least once a day. Um, the Right now, the press releases are driven uh, by what the exchange deems material. Uh, and there's a lot of scrutiny. There still is on data metrics on what we're allowed to press or what we have to press release. So for those of you guys who've been around since we started in the COVID business, you've probably heard me talk about um, we have to run everything by the exchange, like everything. And the reason is, is uh, when we started the COVID stuff, um, you know, we weren't legally uh, in the correct position to import pharmaceuticals, all right? Uh, that being said, we got a pass from the exchange because, uh, you know, the government had asked us to do this and to step in to help with the pandemic. Uh, and we were doing so at their request, but that um, that leniency came with... Uh, with some requirements and one of them was they have to tell us basically what we have to press release and not press release. Uh, so there is some ability for us to coordinate there. And then there is also um, uh, what we have to do to satisfy the exchanges requirements. The best thing to do right there is to just pick up the financials. You know, both companies put out their financials every quarter. You can take a look there and you'll see exactly what's coming in and coming out. And, um, you know, they're publicly available on CDAR. What, another question. Are the CEOs of Concierge and Medical uh, related? Yes. Uh, in fact, they're brothers and getting all that together in one big swoop. Uh, this is one of the reasons we wanted to work with them uh, because we needed all those. We needed their expertise and we needed to put the companies, both of those companies under the umbrella to to make medical work. Um, are we going to have access to financial statements of medical? That's a question we don't. I don't have an answer to yet, but when I do, I will give it. The question becomes whether those financial statements get released with data metrics or with as a separate company. Right now, those financial statements um, currently as it sits would come out under the umbrella of data metrics itself, much like, you know, uh, the revenue with uh, Nexology and how that works. So at the moment, that's how it's going to be placed. There is some question about whether we should report these independently. Um, and, you know, we have asked for clarity for Q3 uh, for that with the exchange. Uh, and they'll tell us what to do about it, but they haven't said anything yet. So we will find out. Um, So do I think that the stock price is being held down due to the pending nature of various deals? Um, again, I can't say one way or the other whether or not somebody's intentionally holding down the stock price. Um, I don't know, to tell you the truth. Um, what I do know is we're going to keep you know, piling in the revenue, piling in the contracts, and uh, go from there. 
but if somebody's intentionally doing something to the stock, I, I, I don't know. That would be something for the exchange to look into. Uh, <clears throat> so what were the, another question, follow up for uh, institutional investors. Okay, what were the major questions and concerns? Okay, first major concern was the balance sheet, always. <laughs> Uh, I mentioned this last time we were on here. Uh, individual investors are usually looking at the stock price. The institutional investors always want the balance sheet. I mean, that's the first thing they ask for before they even want to talk, agree to talk to you. Can I see the balance sheet? So that's number one. Uh, again, that's in pretty good shape um, right now. And the concern, um, <clears throat> two concerns uh, that are you know, seem to come up. Um, previously, one of the concerns uh, <clears throat> was uh, basically revenue. That's no longer a concern as, you know, we've got plenty of that. Um, and then the next concern was people was working on in Nexology space on the AI contracts and seeing what we've pulled in, you know, over the past 12 months, we've gotten a really good positive response to that. Um, and we, I believe that that's going to continue, uh, as it's doing nothing but expanding at the moment. And you guys will hear more about that in the, the PRs to come. Uh, can you advise if you will be calling the TIA, the exchange to get things moving at perspective? We talk to them at least once or twice a week about this. Uh, we're not sure what exactly is holding that up but i it's got to clear up before the end of september um and so they they basically got till the end of next month um to give us an answer you know by law so i don't know it, it can't go into q4 let's put it that way um but i can't get them to go any faster than they are at the moment i don't know what the you know we've given them all the information they need they've talked to everybody they need as far as we know uh we just need an answer Okay. What's, I'm not sure what that is. Um, does the company intend to release PRs um, clarifying numbers during Q2? Uh, no, we won't. The, the Q2 numbers are out. You can, uh, you know, the financial statements are reviewed. So please feel free to go pick up the full financials off CDAR. That's your best bet. Um, you know, I do interviews talking about those numbers. So there's also, there is an interview about 30 to 40 minutes long on Agoracom talking about the Q2 numbers. So please go watch that. Um, you can get it off Agoracom's website or on YouTube. Um, and that would be, that's your best bet for, uh, or looking around, you know, seeing what um, what our numbers are, and and how we, you know, what we're doing to explain them. So, if the, you know, there's um, we'll ask one of the mods to pin Agoracom's YouTube channel up there, so you guys can take a look at that um, in the Discord. Um, So what are, <clears throat> okay, I'm going to have to go in just a couple minutes because I got to get to my son's place before one, um, one my time. So I'm going to go find another question. Is the 250K AI contract announced last week with Graph Blockchain? No. Um, so no, that's not it. And there'll be more coming out with that uh, as that progresses. So that's the last one I'm going to be able to do today. Sorry, I have to cut it. Um, short a little short uh we'll get an answer back as to how often we're going to do this uh, and i will get to all the you know any of the um any of the things i missed please keep bringing them in i will go over as many as possible uh as fast as we can up till next week again though i do have to go to my son's school and take his meds uh over there uh, so could the mods, if you could please pin that Agoracom YouTube channel, that'd be great. You can find us there. 
uh, you can find the uh, information there. And I will be back around. Uh, we'll be back on here next week. So thanks everybody for tuning in. Sorry, I got to cut it a couple minutes short. Um, but um, again, I've got to <laughs> I've got to go take care of my son's meds real fast, and his mother is not available, so I got to do it. All right. Um, thanks everybody. We'll be back next week.